Hello, Ksenia Mia Bragilovsky again, 1.12 a.m. on the 30th of July now. Um, video communication dedicated to the latest and greatest, uh, the latest incident of vandalism that was perpetrated against my property. I reported to the York Regional Police. Uh, I've uploaded uh, the video of uh, what was done, uh, some sort of uh, chemical or... Um, uh, compound was sprayed all around the mudroom uh, leading into the garage. So effectively someone opened my garage, opened the interior door that leads into the um, mudroom, that leads into the kitchen, sprayed some sort of uh, compound that resembles um, pet uh, urine or pet sweat, uh, punched holes into the wooden nosing of uh, the stairs uh, in the mudroom, I left a muddy uh, footprint and off they went. Okay, so yet another uh, incident of vandalism against my property. Uh, so I've uh, reported this to your regional police yet again, yet another time. Um, okay, so police officers were dispatched. I've uploaded um, uh, the video that I've taken on my public YouTube channel. Uh, I've uh, reported this to the police. Uh, two officers came in. They have advised me that they are going to report it. Uh, they are going to investigate it. There is some sort of a detective uh, who is investigating it. Okay, whatever. You know what? At this point in time, none of my rights were protected. None of my freedoms were protected. Uh, my life was destroyed. Uh, I was uh, put in harm's way repeatedly over uh, a period of 17 years just on Canadian soil, just on Canadian soil, right? I was brought into Canada fraudulently in the first place. My health was vandalized, my property was vandalized, my professional uh, aspirations were decimated just because of familial associations, just because of the health status of my mother, just because of my gender, my genetic qualities, etc., etc., etc. So, while the North American intelligence officers are busying themselves in investigations of uh, vulnerable, underprivileged, trafficked persons like myself, making a victim out of me, making a victim out of my mother, while they're investigating, they're earning their salaries, they're on payroll, they're busying themselves with their investigations that are spanning years and decades. They're earning their salaries, they're providing for their wives and their kids, they're earning themselves pensions. The white privilege, uh, white sperm supremacy, here we go, okay, yet again. So, I'm being advised while all of this is uh, going on while I'm being victimized for 38 years now, while I'm being uh, uh, taken advantage of financially, physiologically, psychologically, professionally, socioeconomically, culturally, property-wise, assets-wise, uh, the local RCMP, the U.S. Uh, intelligence officers, who are themselves are probably trespassing all over the property, who are more than capable of uh, manipulating or tampering with my online feeds, with the whatever cameras, the bullshit uh, 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 meager defenses that I will be able to put up, uh, they will be able to tamper it, to hide it, to do whatever, you know, like, I don't stand a chance, I don't stand a chance, I'm not empowered enough to uh, fight an army of intelligence officers who've uh, brought me fraudulently into the state I am in right now, taking advantage of my vulnerabilities, knowing the facts that I was not disclosed, okay? I've been put into harm's way while they are making their salaries. So they are all trespassing, punching holes, uh, vandalizing the property. Uh, then making me uh, report all of this to the local police, the local police, local uh, YRP officers uh, making an imbecile out of themselves, looking like idiots, coming to me, going, coming, going, coming, going. Uh, the, whoever the bogus uh, undercover uh, intelligence officers are trespassing, vandalizing, searching without consent, putting in harm's way, but hey, they can, they are abusing their powers, they can uh, tune into your feed, they can watch your, uh, what it is that you're doing, how it is that you're looking, uh, uh, preclude you from being employed uh, in all the places you want to be employed at, but in uh, those um, that will put you in harm's way, they are happily 
uh, allowing you to get yourself into whatever bogus recruitments you're getting yourself into, okay? Again, unbeknownst to you, just because you stand no chances, you don't control your life, you don't have any fair choices in residential or professional settings, just because they can do it all and they abuse their powers and they create bogus uh, criminal records, they use imbecile, just imbecile freaking doctors, repairmen, service providers to come to you to present themselves in um, uh, what, with whatever uh, IQ they've been endowed with, okay? So uh, I apparently, according to your regional police officer, am uh, wanted on a, a warrant uh, for whatever, uh, defending myself against the imbecile doctor from the Dominican Republic or whatever he was told or wherever he, he came from to touch my boobs under my shirt while performing a breathing test, okay? Hey, guys, yes, I have an alpha antitrypsin, whatever this protein is called, alpha antitrypsin deficiency, uh, that's effectively an inherited malfunction of uh, protein that protects your uh, lungs from infections, diseases, and from deterioration. As I said, the uh, uh, wealthy Bregelovsky fled pre-Soviet Ukraine, left the wife and seven girls to fend for themselves, resulting in them being the victims of crimes against humanity, dying of uh, sexually transmitted diseases, dying of infections, dying of tuberculosis. All of this shit uh, I've been passed on as a gift. Okay, so I have a mild case of asthma, be beat it, okay? And that's what I was uh, looking to have uh, a treatment for myself. And instead of taking me out of the situation I was in, okay, surrounded by all the sick people, uh, in an abusive relationship with Alexander Buchenwald, instead, instead, when I was experiencing severe health issues in 2015, 2016, 2017, the undercover intelligence officers, oh, no, 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 they didn't protect my rights and freedoms. No, 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 no. They've put me into more harm's way. They've uh, attempted to manslaughter me by various technological, communal, and societal means, by manipulating all the imbeciles they could only find in the vicinity to direct them all against me so that, uh, you know, I would be attacked from all angles, from all angles. Is there a warrant for arrest of an imbecile black uh, ultrasound technician uh, happily employed at Mackenzie Richmond Hill Hospital? who is maiming and uh, abusing uh, patients just um, out of her own uh, pleasure on, on request. I don't know, but that's what I've experienced. She just abused me while performing a uh, botched ultrasound. Is she wanted on an arrest uh, warrant? The black nurse from uh, Mackenzie Hospital. But I'm being victimized. I'm being victimized. Yes, I am 150 pounds. And I can defend myself against all the pre imbeciles, uh, bogus doctors, repairmen, if they are smaller than I am and if they are, are, are unarmed. But that doesn't mean that you can direct those imbeciles at me and ask them to do this or that which they can't refuse because they don't have brains, okay? And so instead of me being able and living happily uh, with myself and being able to provide for myself and enjoying my life, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, so the RCMP and the detectives and the uh, intelligence officers who are happily employed and are on payroll, they are investigating cases uh, for decades, for decades. They are uh, throwing in convolutions here and there, complexities and complications into the cases just to make themselves look more busy, to employ themselves for longer, for more decades to come, to uh, get more complicated cases and to sort of uh, investigate their own um, 
crimes that they can easily commit just by the virtue of uh, them having access to anything and everything. And so, okay, why not? Uh, why not, right? Because, like, hey, I'm sitting here on payroll just uh, for the fuck of it. I'm a white supremacist, uh, a male uh, sort of uh, chauvinist here. I'm going to go ahead and do that, right? Hey, she is botched already. White slave orphan uh, with a mother who is uh, with an STD in her brain and her herself uh, not very <clears throat> successful professionally just because of all of the infractions, man-made infractions thrown her way in the previous uh, years when we were uh, involved surreptitiously in her case. We're going to continue developing her. We're going to create uh, this bullshit uh, record or that bullshit warrant or this bullshit warrant, maybe she will agree to work for us and we are going to ask her to be uh, employed for uh, our on our cases that we are investigating and go and, uh, I don't know, fuck up this or fuck up that or do this or do that because she's an imbecile, right? Because we've created this bogus diagnosis for her. So she must be an imbecile because if we are saying because we are directors, we are producers, we are executive producers of whoever comes uh, uh, to our territories, whether they are brought in here legally or illegally, fraudulently or not, uh, coerced or not. We don't care. We are white supremacists, male chauvinists, so we are going to make others look like idiots because they don't have access to all the information and rights, nor do they want to, nor they are, uh, are they curious to know why they are being asked to do this or that, or why this or why that, who cares, we're just going here, we're going there, we're doing this, we're doing that, but we were sitting here in Intel, in our CMP, in CIA, in FBI, in uh, uh, Microsoft being undercover, snooping around and uh, employing all the vulnerabilities, against the personas non grata. Okay, so I have this bogus uh, warrant uh, for my arrest because I defended myself against an imbecile doctor that should not be employed as a doctor in the first place, Ministry of Health, who didn't disclose the fact that my mother had an STD in her brain that she was not able to provide for herself, let alone myself. I would have never ended up here and would never been able to uh, subject myself to all the bioterrorism bullshit that you threw my all the surveillance, all the stalking across nations to freaking Israel and Palestine, freaking slicing me around like there is no tomorrow. So you are sitting there and you're abusing your powers for your own payroll, for your own patients, uh, pensions at my expense and Hopefully, I will agree to work for you. Fuck you. I have no interest in working for you. You're fucking idiots. You're abusing your powers to make idiots out of your uh, frontline YRP officers, out of your frontline uh, attendants, whatever, whoever, out of all the imbecile... Uh, I don't know, immigrants from third worlds that you're bringing here that don't know any better, you're uh, using them against persons who you want to bring in to work for you or to do something for you. I'm not doing shit for you. You've abused me for years, for years, for at least 17 years on Canadian soil only. You've ruined all of my uh, opportunities and capacities to provide for myself to build a normal, successful, professionally rich life, and you are still throwing all this bullshit diagnoses, all this bullshit warrants my way, so that what? I feel some sort of uh, intimidation coming from you, and God forbid, I'm not gonna uh, do this, or I'm not gonna fly, I'm not gonna leave the country, like you're restricting you're directly using your powers, you're abusing your powers to restrict my rights, my freedoms, and undermine my socio-economical uh, property and cultural rights. That's what you've been doing with me, okay? And again, I repeat, this is coming not from the frontline YRP officers, this is coming from all those 
detectives, uh, the provincial, the federal, the uh, whoever is employed uh, successfully undercover in all of those uh, <clears throat> Bell Canada and uh, Intel and uh, Microsoft uh, organization, Google, who are sort of uh, abusing their powers, again, abusing their powers to uh, target someone on request or for a favor, monetary or otherwise, I don't know, but that's what I've experienced, that's what I have experienced.